Hi, I'm Brad Johnson from Lavery Engineering, and this is our new product, the Latency Killer. It's a uh, product that's specifically designed to generate a real-time headphone cue mix for overdubbing and recording. Uh, latency is a fact of life in any computer-based recording system. There are, there are things you can do to lower it, but you can never completely eliminate it. What this product does is allows you to make an analog mix with the signal before it's recorded combined with the signal playing back from the computer recording system. Uh, it can be inserted in any system without changing the quality of the recording or the playback signal and then gives you the facility to record the volume and the panning of your two live inputs and also the ability to add effects through an external effects processor. The reason you need to do that is because although you could use a plug-in by using an effects send pre uh, the muted record signal, uh, there's a pre-delay added by the latency, so it's something like a short digital delay or chorus wouldn't work in that regard. Uh, the main difference in the way you work is that you don't listen to the signal through the computer, so you have to turn off your input monitoring or mute the record channel so that you don't hear a second copy of it while you're working. Uh, there are two separate high-powered low impedance headphone outputs, so you can use two different brands of headphones or have you know, a much different volume level for one person, the engineer or the artist that's performing. And on the back, uh, you can see the connections. This is your source input, which is a line level from a mic pre compressor or line level instrument. And then you can feed your recording A to D converter from there. And there's just a wire connection between the two. The same on the main two mix coming back that you normally listen to. You come in here and then onto your uh, two mix input on your console or your monitor controller. Uh, just a simple wire connection so there's no loss in quality doing it. Then on your effects returns you also have similar outputs so that when you're overdubbing you can record on separate tracks if you have it available your external effects and that way when you play your initial segment that you recorded you have the same effects as what you're hearing on the live signal. Uh, after that you can discard the effects channels that you recorded or in some cases you want to keep them because you know they sound good and the musician was playing with that effect so it, it pays to actually keep the signal. Uh, the, re the volume is adjustable in 3 dB steps and then there's a fine mode that's half dB steps which is retained when you go back to coarse mode so as long as you come back to that same setting you have that same fine <laughs> half dB adjustment to the level. Uh, what this does is it puts the focus back on the performance because a lot of musicians are affected at a subtle level by even a very short latency. Uh, it affects things at the feel or the groove level. So even though they may have gotten used to playing with it that way, it, it's still a factor in uh, how they perform. So this basically unlimits the performance, it unlimits buffer settings, it unlimits the use of high quality plugins that introduce longer delays and also the use of high quality converters that have a longer latency.